So if someone were to come up to me and say, hey, I don't think I'm in love with my spouse anymore, I would have um, a few questions for them, to say the least. The first is, okay, how are you and God? Because the vertical always affects the horizontal. Say, how are you and the Lord? Are you in the scriptures? Is there an open line of communication with him? And then I would ask, okay, are you in church? And not just attending, but are you a part of the life of the church? And not so much that you're just serving and everyone's kept at arm's distance, but you're all in, that there are people, um, in a, that you're in a community where there are people who know you and who you have given the right to speak into your life, to be able to say, hey, I see this in you and because I love you, I wanna tell you about this. And if the answer to most of those questions is no, then I would say, then we need to go back here first because like I said, the vertical affects the horizontal. And if the question, the answer to that question is, yes, I'm doing all those things and still there's a problem, then I would say, okay, what's happening horizontally? Is there resentment? Are there, is there hurt that hasn't been dealt with? Is there, um, you, do you feel misunderstood by your spouse? What's going on here? And I would implore them to seek counsel, maybe go to biblical counseling either by themselves or hopefully their spouse would say, yeah, I'm in, let's do this. Um, and then, you know, it's also a question of what was your relationship built on? Was it built on the truth and the beauty of the gospel? Or was it built on something else that time and together has crumbled because the only lasting foundation is Christ. It is the gospel. And so those would be my questions for someone who uh, feels like they've fallen out of love with their spouse.